Hi everyone, it's your girl Chi Washington and I'm back with another video. Intro music. Do -do 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 -do. So today's video is going to be a gift idea video. So it's nearly Christmas. Yay! I wish it could be Christmas every day. Christmas is my favorite time of the year and it's not just about the gifts but gifts do help and hopefully it's going to help you decide what to get your loved one it is tailored more towards women but obviously men can be gifted these things too it depends on what your partner likes or your friend likes or your cousin or your sister whatever whatever but these are my top 10 luxury um gifts for a luxury lover so i am gonna do it from cheapest to most expensive and i'm gonna give you a few options in between so you can kind of decide and tailor it to the person who you're buying for but as a luxury lover to another luxury lover i'm telling you that they will like these gifts so let's start with number one and i'm gonna be using my phone because i've screenshot some ideas and i'll put them on the screen so that you um can check it out i'm not gonna put links in the bio because uh, unless you really want it then i can put the links in the bio so first on my list i have the compact mirror so my first suggestion would be the tried and tested i actually have this myself luxury um compact mirror from chanel this item is only 32 pounds so you know relatively cheap it's the cheapest on my list and it just feels like mm, bougie luxury love it so it's just a nice bit of luxury for your handbag and a lot of these things are things that we can put in our luxury handbags and who wouldn't like that if you don't want to go for the chanel one you could up the levels a bit more and you could go for a saint laurent so saint laurent is um 160 euros i haven't seen it in the uk um i didn't look for america but a lot of these all of these things really that are available in the uk are available in america so it's going to be round about the same price because the conversion rate is crazy so it'll probably be 160 dollars next um the gucci compact i couldn't find the compact mirror just mirror on itself but there's like um they sell like blushes and they sell powders and so i mean two for one you can get a, who doesn't want blush blush is universal for any skin type you can wear blush and then you could if you wanted to get the um foundation one then you can match it to the shade maybe ask the person or do some investigative investigative work and work out what shade they are and that's even more thoughtful so that is number one on my list so number two on my list would be a luxury gift set now i personally wanted the dior gift pouch skincare lip makeup and fragrance i couldn't find the link anywhere so i've just put up a screenshot of a chat where i was telling my husband what i had put in my family group chat for what i wanted for my secret santa because i like to lead people to where they should be going when they want to buy me a gift that was 65 pounds it seems no longer available the only problem with gift sets luxury gift sets like there is the dior one there's also the chanel one which is really hard to get and that's a problem they're usually really hard to get you usually have to be really really organized to get it super early so unfortunate the video is only coming out now but you can get ahead next year and just be thinking about it at the beginning of november getting your um luxury gift set so usually it's just something that has a cute little pouch um and then like miniature versions of some of their like skincare and fragrances and it's just cute so again it's um <sighs> some razzle dazzle for the inside of their handbag give them the old razzle dazzle razzle dazzle so that is number two on my list a luxury gift set number three would be a luxury notebook now dior has a beautiful um range of luxury notebooks so i'll just put one on the screen there that starts at about 55 pounds again you could up the level if you really wanted to and you could get um a louis vuitton one and maybe you want to you know spice it up and get one with a nice print if you could possibly get a holiday print one ugh, anyone would love that um 
but obviously tailor it to what your partner likes and you know what they're into so number four would be the um fragrance so um any luxury fragrance would be um amazing so i actually have the chanel um twist and spray is it called yeah twist and spray um so this one had coco mademoiselle in it and it's just like again bougie okay look is it you can you see the satisfaction of that just mm, just one spray because i'm indoors now but um yeah so you could get the chanel one beautiful scent and i think getting it in the travel set is just a bit more like a special gift because it's not something that people usually buy for themselves so i think any luxury lover would appreciate a cute little travel size one you could up the levels um and go for um a more expensive perfume so they have this really nice travel set of the maison france maison france's Kurt dijon um baccarat rouge 540 which everyone is going on about i mean i smell it and it is delicious so if you want to up the level then you could up the budget and that would set you back 310 pounds but it is what you make it number five on my list would be and i hope it's not distracting that i'm using my phone i'm trying to be organized but yeah number five would be a card holder now i have the louis vuitton reverse monogram and i love it again bougie classy ratchet without the ratchet okay we just bougie classy over here ow okay stop all right so the card holder 185 pounds it's a reasonable price and who wouldn't want a card holder it's usable and it's bringing luxury to the everyday and you know i fully support an slg um next we could get a gucci one there's lots of options i've just put one up here which i think is a classic it's a neutral and it will go with anything so people probably will like it but you might want to go for like a um pop of color kind of room and that might be cute number six um would be a key holder so i also have the louis vuitton um key holder the six key holder so that would set you back 220 pounds you could um save a bit of money if your person that you're buying for doesn't have that many keys you could get the four key holder four key holder that's 185 pounds you could get a gucci one so there's a gucci one for 200 pounds so it's around that kind of price and again bringing bougie to the everyday like what i feel like our boss like coming to take my keys like what and it just it's it just looks cute in my handbag you can't go wrong like all of these things i bought for myself but i would have happily been gifted it in fact no my husband got me this uh, another set of this um because i bought it for myself originally and then he bought me another one um for mother's day i think um but he bought me the whole thing when i think once you've done this you can then just start buying the refills which should be a bit cheaper so again more gift ideas for smaller holidays like maybe valentine's day or um like a small fake anniversary you know like when you do like the three month anniversary it's like what is that that's not even a thing but you know gifting maybe gifting just for the sake of gifting am i all over the place i really want to get this video out so i'm just trying to ooh, power through so that was number six number seven would be luxury sunglasses because who wouldn't like luxury sunglasses there's so many different kinds so i'm just gonna put a screenshot from selfridges um but i think for a decent pair of luxury sunglasses then i would be thinking about 250 pounds there's some beautiful ones in balenciaga loewe mulberry gucci can't go wrong with gucci louis can't go wrong with louis louis is going to be more up there in the prices you can get some very reasonable price gucci sunglasses um and then you know depending on your budget or what your person likes maybe you can bring it down and you can get some michael Kors, or you can get i've seen quite a, a bit of vogue i don't know about vogue as a brand but no comment so yeah number seven would be sunglasses number eight would be a luxury robe because oh i like you can see here my little pink robe that i've had since uni and every time it gets to the winter season i'm wrapped up in my robe because warmth 
comfortability, but if I could have a luxury room now, ooh. Oh! Oh, kill him! Oh, kill him! Oh, ooh, kill him! I would be feeling brand new, like. So, yes, I have actually put this on my own luxury wish, not my luxury wish list, on my Christmas wish list from my husband. So, hopefully, he's going to be able to get that for me. Um, so, that's £390. But I have also seen this um robe and you might have seen it it's all over instagram support black owned you could get this robe for 175 from the kai collective and it's beautiful i would actually happily have both for when i'm washing one then i can always have my robe during the winter season so kai collective is also a lovely alternative and support black owned and then number nine would be the medium ring agenda so that starts at 465 pounds um i was looking for the small agenda which i have so i'm also <laughs> got some notes here but this is the one that i have is a small one um i actually can't remember how much this was uh but it was definitely not 465 i think it was like 200 and something um i can't find that one um online i don't know if they, they're sold out or if they're not selling the small one anymore um, but yeah, medium ring agenda. It doesn't come with the infills. Yeah, super awkward. It don't come with infills. But I'm telling you, if your person likes luxury and they like organization stationery, they will love the LV agenda. But I do have an alternative for you. So you could get Mulberry. So Mulberry, they have um, an agenda cover. Um, this is the medium size, £330. You could get a smaller one, £280. And that's also a beautiful alternative to the LV. Plus it's leather, genuine, real, supple leather. So like who wouldn't enjoy that? And then number 10 on my list, the most expensive would be, of course, a luxury handbag. And I don't know if you can see up here, I've got my Jacquemus. Jacquemus would be the brand that I would recommend because it's on a cheaper price point, okay? So you could get the Le Chiquito. Ugh, let's say that again. You could get the Le Chiquito for £415. And it's super cute. It's a tiny bag. It's a ridiculously tiny bag that probably won't fit more than your card but it's a gift so it's something that maybe the person won't buy for themselves but they're still gonna appreciate oh my gosh this is so cute and they're gonna feel better about wearing it because they don't spend their money on it someone who loved them gifted them with it and so it's just like guilt-free pleasure of something that's absolutely ridiculous so yeah you could get that obviously you could get the bigger size next i would say the le bambino it's it's like half the size of this this one actually you know fits the phone in this is the mini um and i think the mini is about the size of the le bambino so obviously this one is more expensive this one's about this is 550 at the moment this one is 450 100 pound difference um i think the le bambino is super cute and i've been so tempted to buy it for myself so i think it is a worthwhile gift and i think whoever received it would be super happy because i know personally i would be really happy but let me throw in a few other alternatives okay because i know we're trying to save our coins out here so you could go to the extreme end i mean it's extreme to who i don't know it's relative but <laughs> it's a crisis right now and i told you i'm not buying luxury so let me give you some alternatives you could get the telfa the telfeezy the small for 150 dollars now if the person you're buying for is on the larger size maybe get them the medium that will set you back 202 dollars i mean i know i know i said it's a no from me but what can i change my mind okay i like it it's cute i will be wearing it like it's a top handle moment if by force i have to put it over my shoulder of course i will if for any reason i have to cross body it i'll cross body it but i think it's a cute purchase and i don't think anyone will be mad and supporting black owned come on we can all do this all races support black owned because <laughs> they need support all right so i would recommend a telfar you could also go down the brandon blackwood route you know i've got a couple brandon blackwoods i'll link my video 
hair or hair whatever side because anyways yeah so do you know what i would recommend esr totes he's just brought them back and i hopped on as soon as it came available i was like oh 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 i'm gonna get out uh, uh. you remember when i said for the telfar that you should uh, just get one and see if you like it before you buy multiples and i bought two of these without seeing them um so did i follow my own advice i bought three esr totes and i haven't even seen it but the bag was 98 pounds so can you go wrong it's cheap and it's small but yeah it's cheap no in fact 93 pounds so and i think that's 88 dollars and that he's selling it for and the money goes to a black charity like what you're even you're gifting someone with something you're, you're letting them now send a message to the world and systemic racism plus you're donated to charity on their behalf hey it's a triple threat gift you understand so maybe i bought three maybe i'm gonna gift one of them to one of my loved ones let's see let's see let's see but those are my top 10 gifts i hope you enjoyed that i hope it wasn't too long i'm really trying to maintain the consistency like my last video i got like okay look it's not all about the views i know this but i got like 100 views in one day i was like huh what usually i get like 28 50 like a a, a, a very small amount so it was like and that video i wasn't even showing any luxury items i was just saying my opinion do you guys care about my opinion that is really touching and it really validates me okay i need validation is that why we do youtube like oh it's an addictive thing it's a hobby it's a hobby it's a hobby it's a hobby that's what i'm trying to remind myself that i'm doing it for the joy and not for the views but getting views really helps like i'm not gonna lie it really helps so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please can you like and subscribe and watch another one you can binge me i've got quite a few this is going to be video 40 i've got quite a few videos so have a look back and see if there's anything you've liked i've done quite a few different types but obviously luxury is my main thing but go look at my other ones that are not very much viewed because support black owned business this is my anyways no stop <laughs> it's not a begging thing but okay side note let's talk about love is blind have you guys been watching love is blind so if you stay to the end and you enjoy that and you don't want to talk about it then you can drop off now that's absolutely fine but if you've watched love is blind can we just stop how do we feel about the couples okay so i'm gonna insert this couple because i don't even remember their names because they were so insignificant in fact was it brennan brennan and the Israeli woman who at the reunion did they show their true colors awkward Zainab and Cole Zainab and the fruits and the oranges and the what does they call it I don't know Americans do you guys have a different name for tangerine anyways the the smallies the fruities what was it called the smallies incident anyway I said ah Zainab who lied do she said that she wants to go and get the second tangerine and he said oh are you going to eat that second one because you, you save room for your as if he was saying it like you're fat stop eating because we're going to eat later first of all when we watched the clip she came he came out and he was eating with her i was like okay so how is this how are we going to get from that to this and then he she was eating he said oh are you going to do that save it why didn't you eat are you saving it for your wedding board and she's like yeah yeah something like that i said hey zainab you was not insulted you lied you took you took the truth you took his exact words and you twisted it and you made it a bad thing ah, that is that's that's a witch people in the comments on my instagram are, uh, i don't i'm not even on twitter but on instagram will say oh zay is a witch zay is a witch and as i was watching the show i was like why don't people like zay now because cole is horrible like the way that he was talking about um this other girl that oh is more his type and keep trying to convince himself that he finds her physically attractive was like bro you're actually being super rude like i don't even understand like all of this thing about being truthful 
to be a truthful person because you're kind, you're truth. Hey, sometimes it's not every day to tell the truth. Sometimes hold it inside because what good is it to tell somebody that you find another person more attractive than them? I don't understand. And then, don't even get me started on the high top boy. What was his name now? Whew. The high top boy. What was his name? That I thought he was God gift to humanity. That his looks was the Adonis of all men. That he was built like an iron soldier. Like, I didn't even clock the muscles. I didn't see any muscles particularly. So I don't understand. But I loved how Raven dealt with it. Because she said, look, I'm not flattered. You didn't like me in the pods. Now you see me. Now, you, now you're interested. That does not flatter me. Like me for the outside and for the inside. Because people can gain weight people's looks can fade their hair can fall out their teeth can fall out so that means you're not going to love them he said the brother asked him if my sister's to gain 400 pounds will you still love her he is like i think that we should be able to have that conversation that i don't find that attractive. i said hey, red flag red flag red flag he's not the one i know people have their preferences but it's not okay, it's not okay, he's not okay. He was a pig. He was a pig. What is his name? Oh. No. I have to find his name because I need to say his name with venom that I had on me. But you know what? It's all fake. It's all fake. So let me not hate somebody who I don't know. Bartise. Bartise was a pig. But who was he with? Nancy. Nancy was not on this planet. She was smiling around, smiling, smiling. He said to her, dead in her eye, Raven is smoking hot. You're not my type. When I was in the pod, I was between you two. Now I'm seeing her and I thought, damn, that's what he said to her. And she just looked at him like this. Mm. Mm. And then in the VT, then she says, what, WTF? I said, but you didn't express that to him. And then, when he's just continuing to insult her, continue to insult her, continue to show that he's not physically attracted to her, she said, I'm extremely confident. Yes, I think we'll get married. I know we'll get married. I'm extremely confident. I said, oh, is, is everything okay? How would you be confident? And then at the wedding, I understand that, okay, it's between me and my husband. No. It's between me and the person that said no to me at the altar. So my family, can you step away? But at the same time, nah. Like your family are ch chatting sense. But anyways, let me stop because I don't want this video to be too long. How long are we? Yeah, we're getting to 20 minutes. So I like to keep it short. So um, yeah, if you want to talk more about Love is Blind, maybe I'll make a whole video on Love is Blind. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and stay until the very, very end. Bye.